pretty much all I ever wanted to do. And all I ever wanted to do for a really long time was just longboard and hang 10 and grew, grew up in Southern California where the waves are nice and mellow. And you can do that. And um, I don't know what happened, but around the time when I was about 16, like something just hit me and I was like, oh, I'm suddenly I'm bored with longboarding. <clears throat> and so I was like, oh, I'll try shortboarding. And my friend gave me a shortboard I kind of struggled on that for a few years, and then one day during college, I went to school in uh, Santa Barbara. I got a stand-up barrel, and I was like, whoa, that was like the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I, I, you know, I didn't know much. I didn't realize, but like, the farther north you come up on the California coastline, the bigger the waves get. And um, so I was actually came up to Santa Cruz to meet my friend who went to uh, UC Santa Cruz, and we were like, oh, it's too crowded in Santa Cruz. And so we drove up to Ocean Beach one weekend in November, and it was a huge swell. And we had no idea how big it was. We just were looking out, seeing perfect peaks with nobody out. And, um, <laughs> and like, uh, my friends had told me, because I had some friends from here, and they were like, oh, rule number one of Ocean Beach, it's always bigger than it looks. <laughs> and uh, so we're like, oh, what are these kooks doing? We saw some guys paddling out on, like, really big guns. We're like, oh, look at those old kooks. And, uh, somehow we timed the paddle out perfect. Like, we made it out, and, um, and then sure enough, there was like, we, the big one came and we ducked up under it. And then there was a really big one. And it was like, maybe like a 20 footer face, wow. 20 foot face. And it was just hollow and mean. And it was like about to break like 10 feet in front of us in the worst possible place. And I looked over at my friend and he was like, well, see you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, tossed and turned and spun around and I had no idea which way it was up. I was underwater and I was like, oh my god, this is horrible. And um, if finally I opened my eyes and it was all dark and then my foot touched the sand and I was like, oh my god, I'm at the bottom and I just was swimming up so slowly because I was exhausted by this point. Um, and I was thinking to myself, if there's another one like this, I'm going to die. And luckily, once I got to the surface, there was not another one. And I was just gasping for air, um, my whole body trembling, convulsing. And I saw Parker, and he was like, I'm going in. And I was like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then we, I, we went in, and we were standing there in the parking lot. And I was looking, and I was going, I, I want to be able to surf those waves out there. And I want to prepare and train to do it. And uh, so I started doing it, and um, I just, you know, I'm, I'm a calculated risk taker, and I, I train really hard. And uh, the cool thing about having the longboard background is that um, I, I feel really comfortable riding big boards. And so that's what we ride when we ride really big waves. And um, so, yeah, now I'm just out there trying to catch the biggest, best waves of my life and uh, pushing the limits. So it's pretty fun. <laughs>